Suppose you're David Russell Walker. This is your family. This is your house. It doesn't look like much right now, but here's your vault. Inside, you have $2,000 to build whatever you want. This is your neighborhood. There are dozens of people just like you. Sooner or later, they're going to try to get your money. It looks like it already happened. While you were out looking around your neighborhood, your wife was killed, her money was taken, and your vault was compromised too. You watched the security tape to see who did it. Daniel Herbert Getz. You'll remember that name. Now you've got nothing left, so you end it. You start from scratch. Now you're Bradford J. Foreman with a new family and a fresh 2000. This time you build something for Mr. Getz in case he returns, but you need to be careful. You can't completely block your family in. They need an obstacle-free path to the exit. Also, your security can't be so good that it keeps you out. You've got to be able to reach your own vault without dying. What you're building is dangerous. You're hoping it will kill Mr. Getz, but it can kill you too. When you die in this game, you lose everything and start over. You learn this the hard way at the jaws of your own pit bull. Now you're Eric John Guffey. You build a better house this time. You test your traps carefully with indicator lights and chihuahuas in place of trap doors and pit bulls. Finally, you get it all working without killing yourself. You spend some of the leftover money on robbery tools. You risk your own life breaking into other people's houses, hoping to build up your funds. This is the Castle Doctrine, a new massively multiplayer game. It's brutal, sad, hilarious, and tense. One moment you'll be filled with the thrill of triumph, and the next, despair. Nothing is random. Every outcome in this world is the result of choices made by its players. This game gives you an enormous amount of freedom and power. What you do with it is up to you.